Hi, I'm Golf Magazine Top 100 Instructor Thomas Dickens. Today I want to talk to you in our Track Man Educational Series about one of the most misunderstood entities of uh, Track Man, and that is swing plane, and how the swing plane correlates with the face angle. Um, what you're going to see is the swing plane is not a line drawn up the club shaft from the hosel to the grip. It is nothing more than the lie angle of the club at impact. So as the number goes higher or more towards 60, 70, 80, so to speak, the toe is going down, the heel is coming up, and that will tend to open up the face. If the, if the swing plane number is getting lower, you know, uh, 50, 40, 30, somewhere around there, the heel of the club is going down, the toe of the club is coming up, and the ball will tend to go more left. Now, for irons, the swing plane number is somewhere around 60, give or take a couple degrees. Everybody's a little bit different. So what we need to understand is if the swing plane number starts to creep too much up, you start to go in the upper 60s, that face angle will be hung to the right and it can eventually cause gear effect. If the swing plane number is too low, you know, moving into the low 40s um, or what have you based on the club, this face angle can be more negative. So let me explain to you. Let me just get on the mat. Let me kind of show you what I'm talking about here. It's very important. You are going to find swing plane. If I have my swing plane goes up, you know, as it starts to go 50, 50, 60, 70, the face tends to open up. And you can see the face tends to open. Now, also, as the face tends to open, if I really lift the hands, it shortens the swing arc and I can get, actually hit it off the toe. So when the swing plane number gets too vertical, it can open the face, cause the face to hang too far right of the path and of the target. And if it's to the extreme, you can actually start hitting it off the toe and have gear effect that moves it too much to the left. So you have to be real careful uh, as you start losing control of that face angle at impact to make sure that you're not raising the handle, which changes the lie angle of the club, obviously. Okay. Subsequently, if I have my swing plane and it is too low, my hands get too low coming through impact, that tends to get the heel of the club down, the toe of the club comes up, and that tends to shut the blade like so. All right. As the club shuts, the heel can kind of push this way, and you can actually get some heel shots which will also cause some gear effects. So you need to be real careful um, about when you're looking at face angle, ascertaining why that face angle is where it is. A lot of times, people have great swings, they just pop up and out of it just a little bit, that swing plate number goes up, face angle gets shoved to the right, sometimes they stay in it too long, they exit more left, face angle gets shoved more left, swing plane number gets too low. So the swing plane gives you an indication of what is going on with the club head through impact. It can help you with fitting, it can also help you with understanding why the face angle does what it does. So if you'll take the time to look at face angle, but yet understand swing plane, I think you're gonna have a lot of fun and I think you're gonna be able to understand why the face angle does what it does through impact. Have some fun with it.